all right guys so we are here again for our ram upgrades or your memory upgrades all right so my current uh, laptop is asus model fx 505d all right by default it has 16 gb ram which is enough for us uh, uh, gamers plus uh, uh, graphic designer or video editor but of course we seek always for improvements or upgrades all right so today or tonight we will add 16 GB more on our laptop all right so first thing that we do of course we should remove the back cover so it has like four seven eight nine ten eleven eleven star screw that we should remove first all right so we'll see the back cover of course with all the laptop we should be careful in removing the back cover or else this will be cheap or it will have scratches and we don't want to do that all right so let's do it let's upgrade our ram all right guys so i always do yeah like i use this uh, type of cloth all right and place the screw heads accordingly so at least i will not misplace those screw heads on their proper holes or else because sometimes those screw heads are have different sizes all right so you will see that later on so we'll see and go ahead see this so this screw is not equal to this so I might miss this hole with this hole then it will damage our screws all right Alright, in this case, so for example, I can't remove this screw head, so I'll use my small magnet. This, but I should always careful because this is small but powerful magnet and it will damage my hard disk or any, you know, boards or circuit in my laptop, so I should be careful in using this. Alright, there we go. So we'll start 
to remove the back panel but slowly and carefully. See, I'm gonna use the packaging of the memory because it's a hard plastic and it's very, I mean, it's thin enough to place in the middle of the gap. All right, there we go. All right, so everything looks fine. If you hear that pop sound, I hope I didn't break anything. So slowly, I have to do, right, All right so we finish on one side. All right, done to the end. All right, so by default, it has only SSD installed and I installed my SATA connection SSD. All right, if you watch the above video, you will see how I installed this one. It's pretty much easy. All right, so by default, we have one slot of memory. So let's just remove and check for the sake of checking all right i hope it's compatible all All right, so we should be very careful on inserting our memory. It should insert this. All right, so this hole should fit on this memory gap. I mean, this space here. All right. So let's try and see how it goes. So normally what I do is to check first the system if everything looks fine and everything is really compatible before closing the back cover all right so at least if there's something wrong 
we will not do the same exercise to unscrew and re-screw everything all right so let's power on and fingers crossed It's booting up. Show some progress. Okay, Windows update. All right, always, as always. Right now, we just boot up and Windows desktop appears. All right, still we didn't cover the back panel. Oh, all right. Uh, all right, hope you see this. All right, and we'll check if it has now a 32 GB RAM. All right. I feel I really feel that it's 32 now but let's see let's see about your PC all right check it out guys see you see it Wait, let me boost the display brightness All right, success. It is 32 GB RAM. All right, congratulations to us. All right, guys, so you see, it's very easy to change or to upgrade ROG laptop. All right, Asus, brand name Asus model. FX 505D. All right. Same thing. We do. We just put the back over and then screw everything tied up, and that's it. We are done. All right. So hope you enjoy my video. Hope you learned something. All right. So don't forget to subscribe on my channel. All right. Click the bell and hit the like and please share this video so at least our IT geeks and colleagues will know how to upgrade or replace their RAMs on their laptop. Alright, thank you so much guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.